Ooh, a gun. I I have my flashlight back. Find and pick up the gun. All right then. Wait, I don't set up the camera, do I? Okay, no. That's good. We just have to go back. I'm sure nothing terrifying is gonna happen. Clown's still on the missing wall, which means he's missing. Don't have to worry about him. Whew. Glock, pick up the weapon. Check the door at the end of the corridor. Can you stop the creepy basement? I'm strapped now, I ain't worried about it. My confidence, all time high. Just, just hand me a gun. We're about to send this clown back to hell. It's gonna be phenomenal. Alessa? Alisa? Oh, there's two of you now. Are you the same person? Is that you when you were a kid? Have you been haunted your whole life? Because that would really, really suck. Mmm. So you didn't call it Wait, how do you know my name? Hey, ma'am. Just let so you know, know the prank on the police. What? I know that sound. Hey everybody, this is Ren, and welcome back to Silence Channel 2. Now we finally get out to take a pot shot of that clown. And sadly, right after that, the, the game client just crashed super, super hard. So we're just going to get back into it and see and see where it takes us. That's that's a lot of mannequins and they're out of their cage now. So I'm, I'm not a big fan. Really, really don't want to deal with a bunch of spooky mannequins running around. Chapter three. Vertigo. Vertigo, Vertigo is scary. I've, I've had it before. Not a big fan. Oh, this this is gonna be a hospital, isn't it? Or the world's scariest optometrist. Oh, what are you? Part tree, part man. 30% testicle. Oh no, this is more like a mad scientist lair or an autopsy room. Not again. Was that an old man's voice or is Martin just really had enough of this shit? Let me guess, to the left there's light. Bada bing, let's go get this flashlight. I like that growling. Not a fan. Stop. Why did I black out? I will say this game has managed to like just successfully take me out of commission with fear at times. It would be nice to not continuously be in the sleeping hallway. Rat? <laughs> yeah, you ain't getting me this time. Fool me, you know, four times, two times, shame on me. Fool me the fifth time, it'll probably happen again. <laughs> I don't feel good at all. Yeah, I don't either. Probably my blood pressure.
Oh, they both open. Closed. This is like a... If this is a prison cell, psych ward. X3, X1. To the third power, to the first power. Then Glock. Why, why do I find this one cute? Are these parts of the puzzle? Why can I hide? I'm just a teddy bear. Go left. Hey there. Left. Right. Right. Left. Left. That ain't it. You're a wonderful artist. Deeply disturbed, but a really good artist. Alright. I'm not gonna remember anything I saw there. Examine the environment. I guess we're I guess we're back at it. Oh no, it's a maze. Hold up. I get what we're doing now. I need to, uh, I need to write this down. So, I want the gun. So, I'm going to assume I need to go through. The gun goes three times to the right, one time to the left, and then one time to the right again. And then we have the teddy bear, which will be one time to the left, two times to the right, and then there was another one, right? A sedative, syringe, needle. I didn't even notice that one beforehand. I do think this one's cute still though. Syringe is two left, one right. Sorry, I'm having to take notes, because I will never, ever remember this on my own. So we're going to go for the gun first. We're going to go three right, one left. Oh, we can't go right yet. So we're going to go for the... Syringe, which will be the closest, which will be two left, one right. So left, left, maybe, maybe I didn't solve this. Maybe I'm just horribly wrong. So we have so far gone. We've gone left. And we have gone right. I'm just gonna have to wing ding it. I don't know what it wants from me. Oh no, am I in a looping hallway? So we're gonna try gun again. We're gonna go right. Right. Left. And we're gonna take another right. Oh, a clock! Left? Am I just... You make no sense. Alright. Let's try... What's through here? Empty room. Another empty room. Hallways that I've been through already. Huh. 
Huh. I don't like how there's so many question marks. And I'm kind of, I'm tracked to the center path. Like I can only go straight down this line. You know, oh! Can you not? You'll die if you try to fight us. You'll die if you try. Okay, so we're running. I, sh I shot you in the face. There's nothing funny about a clown in the moonlight. You're right, there's not. Can you go away? Why don't you go outside and bask in the moonlight? Because I still don't understand the puzzle mechanic that I'm dealing with currently. And now there's a demon clown after me. Looks like we're going to go back out again. Oh! <laughs> he knows I'm in here. You are dead! Oh! Oh boy, oh boy. I wasn't ready. Oh no, mannequin. Oh. Gun. You have a gun. Grab it. Okay then. That was terrifying. What the hell was that? I don't know. But I would like my gun out. At all times. One for using weapon. I have 30 rounds in a 30 round magazine. Infinite bullets, which is nice. How many times do I have to shoot these damn things? I will say there's something about a game giving you a gun that just really makes you a little bit more confident. But also I feel like with how so, like how far these developers have been managing to scare me that that false sense of confidence given to me by the gun is gonna completely bite me in the ass. Okay, so it only takes one bullet to murderize the, the mannequins. Like I was saying, false sense of security, and now there's pee in my pants. We're pulling that back out. We're just gonna uh, deal with this, I guess. We're just gonna try one shot, one kill it, so we don't have to. I shot you. So it takes multiple shots to kill them. Because I, I saw the blood pop up. So I do in fact have to blast them until they die. So they gave me a gun and made it apparently the wimpiest gun ever made. Come on, open your eyes. I know you want my sweet, sweet meat. Can 
Can I sprint backwards? That'd be so useful. I know there's a mannequin in some of these rooms. I have to be so strategic with how I, like, back up and reload. It'd be really bad if they popped up behind me right now. I would not be a fan. I want to clear everything out first before I, like... What? Oh, this is impossible. Headshots are the best way to kill enemies. Yeah, well, my aim is trash. That's why I'm not playing shooters. You know what? I haven't been using my actual mouse. I've been using a silent mouse to help with recording, so I don't have all the clicking. But uh, at this point, I'm throwing my gaming mouse on. We're going, we're going full sweat mode. Deal with these mannequins. And if it's just the loudest clicking you've ever heard, just know it's for the purposes of survival. And you, oh. And like, oh god, they're so much faster than me. It's always freaking cursed. I'm never gonna make it out of here alive. Maybe I'll do like a montage of all the time I get bodied by these things. Can I like preemptively strike you down? Beautiful. Twenty-four bullets. So I'm gonna go forward. Will you activate first, or will the room to the left activate first? All right. So so far we're cooking. Is there anything in here I want and or need? Not that I can find. So far, so bad. His eyes lit up. Safe in the wall. I like have to like room clear now. What about the clown? What's upstairs? Should I go upstairs? What are you? Perform procedures. Okay, so I need a key card. Which is, I'm assuming, down this extremely ominous hallway. Alright, let's get in there and get it. This ought to be a hoot. There's the electric chair. I have no, if I die here, I'm assuming I go back to the bottom. I have to do this all over again. And I have no idea where there might be mannequins. 
Like on the other side of this door, there could very easily be a mannequin. Just like that right there. Oh, clock. The 14th clock. How many damn clocks are there? There's not a chance in hell I'm going back and getting all those clocks. Alright. So I know for a fact, if I open a door, there will be a mannequin. Are you locked? You are locked. Alright then. Is there a mannequin in here? It's real, real flickery over here. So I need to find the key card. Mmm, picked a bad time to reload. This was gonna kill me, is like the the habit that I have from shooters to reload every 10 seconds, I'm gonna die. This is an open door. So we're gonna clear this room before we go down. Because if mannequins come in from behind me, it's game over. It's just, I'm just shit out of luck. There's nothing I can do to stop them. They will decimate me. This door. Go to the... It's locked. It's locked. Huh. What a lovely photo. That was just pure panicked spray and pray in the corner. I think we're just gonna keep doing that. It seemed to work. Son of a bitch. Please don't start me at the bottom of the hallway. I missed one. Ah, whoa, where did you? Oh, the one in the back room. Wait until you can see the whites of their eyes. There is no whites. I already got the clock. Alright, check those rooms. So I guess I don't have to like incur the wrath of the mannequin army again. Do you not flicker? Go away. Quit blinking or flickering. Damn. Mannequin Menace! Got a boy with your name on it. Did you just try to peek me on the corner? They're like checking lanes. Like this is some kind of COD tourney match. Oh, clock. Be a shame if there was a mannequin. To send me back to the damned beginning. Alright, so that corner's open. That corner's also open. So death can come from either direction. Clear. No! Don't slide up on me like that. Stan Michael Jackson mimic mannequin thing. Is any angle safe? 
Alright, we're gonna clear this way. Locked. Locked. Okay, so we're safe back here. Everything's kosher back that way. Empty room. We're gonna check this hallway first. Nope, two sides. Open. Oh god! I'm so nervous. I've come so far. If I die now, I have to do it all again. There's so many doors. All right, we're gonna start with the side. It's pretty tame. Locked. Just every door is just a chance to die. Locked. Locked. Open, says me. Where's the mannequin? Where is it? I know there has to fucking be one. What are the odds I can get this key and just leave? What are the odds there won't be more mannequins? What are the odds it quick saved? Oh! I scared myself with my own gunshot. heavy on the trigger finger right now. A little jumpy. All that academy training didn't do much for me. Yeah, spam clicking on that one. Oh! I died. As soon as I got the opportunity to fight bad, they're like, nah, 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 nah. We won't be having any of that. Do I sell my gun? I like the gun. No gun, no camera, only flashlights. Oh, all well, the writing's gone. Check the uh, check the door. Alrighty then. It seems like we're making pretty good progress. Now we just have to go into the deep, dark, scary basement again for the, I don't know how many at the time now. Yep, we're all sprint. We're gonna make it. We're not falling this time. Alessa Rose Martin. Am I a victim now? Yeah, I see my name above the creepy clown thing. Angrily. Are you a nurse? Are you calm now? Huh? Mm. I'm at peace when I see Tara listen to this music. Good. Martin, do you want to do the rest of our session tomorrow? What? Yes, Susan. I think <laughs> I'm a little tired for today. Okay. No problem. Martin? Did something happen? No. It's nothing. There's just a demon girl at the end of the hallway. So what's what's going on? The first time I came out of the room and faced that dark corridor, I was terrified. Same. The second time, I was facing the same corridor, but I was still scared. Same here. Yes. But after the third time, I wasn't afraid anymore. No, I was still afraid. Oh, it's been a long time. I'm not afraid of that dark corridor and all the things that happen alongside of it. What happened in the you dark know, corridor? Reliving bitter and scary memories doesn't make you brave. It makes you numb. Well, it's a good thing I'm neither. I'm most certainly not brave. On Halloween of 1989, the wife and daughter of Officer Martin Fisher a member of the area police force, suspiciously were murdered at their home. Martin, who wasn't at home at that time, claimed that he noticed a strange clown smiling at him around the house when he returned home. 
Five years later, a young woman called the police and claimed that someone had entered her house. Martin, as the closest patrol officer, went there to check the situation. After hearing sounds of gunshots from the house, the backup forces went there and found the body of a young lady at the top of the entrance stairs who had been shot by Martin's weapon. Oh, shit. Martin claimed after entering the house, strange things happened to him. While checking the house, a clown attacked him, and he shot that clown, not anyone else. So, guy had a psychotic break. Currently, I had more than 16 psychiatric sessions with Martin, the results of which are included in his file. But according to my sessions with Martin, to be honest, something in this case has preoccupied my mind. What if something really happened to Martin? What if something supernatural is hidden in this case. I don't know if uh, what I'm trying to do is right or not, but I want to live in that house for a short time. Dr. Susan Hopkins, September 1994. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to, go ahead and like and subscribe. And if you would please share it with a friend, that'd be a huge help. And once again, thank you and just have an absolutely amazing day.